here to tell us more about the College Theater Family Show playing around the community throughout the summer and at the Lakeside Pavilion on July 14th and 15th is director Amelia Barrett. Welcome, Amelia. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Oh, yeah. So you do the show every summer that tours to the community. I don't, I mean, I just happen to have done it for the last oh. several years. Okay. But um, I, I have done it probably for the last five, and it's my very favorite show. Is it really? It really is. So this goes to libraries, park districts? Exactly. Anywhere YMCA. else? YMCA. Mm YMCA. -hmm. Here at the MAC. And here, here at the MAC. And, and why do you do a touring show? Oh, it's a wonderful experience, A, for the kids that are, oh, I shouldn't say kids. Students. For the students that are in it, uh -huh. because they're getting ready to go on to another part of their careers, and um, that's what probably they'll be doing, and they'll probably be touring themselves exactly how we do it. And it's a great outreach to the community. Oh, so sure. So that if they couldn't get here to the MAC, they can come right to their community and see it and be part of it. And so when the kids tour, they have to load the show in a bus or a van, Go, and set it up, rehearse, restage. Restage, put on any costume pieces that they didn't have on because they were having to set the, the mm -hmm. stage, perform the show, do autographs for the, for the kids that are seeing it, and then repack the van and take it back to the Mac and unload it and start again. And you know, I don't think people realize when you first start in your career, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. It's not glamorous. There is no crew. You are the crew. You are the tour. Exactly. You know? We've had so many students that have worked on tours like this after experiencing this, and they always say, I thank you so much. I was so prepared for this. But mm -hmm. oftentimes, you even do a one-person show. You go to, to an elementary school, and you do, I don't know, something about Emily Dickinson or something, mm -hmm. and then you reload your car, and you go to the next school. So it's, right. a, it's a great prep for them. So tell us about the show. So the great thing about this show is you don't that know. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> it's improvised. So all I know is the foundation. Okay. So it's called um, Goldie's Next Big Adventure. And the foundation of it is that it's Goldilocks running away from the three bears after she's destroyed their home oh. and invaded their privacy. And she falls into another adventure. So oh, cute. we're auditioning this weekend. And uh, I'll know more when we start rehearsal because the students and I will, will build it together. So you'll throw out situations and then they will improvise it and then you say, okay, we're going to keep this. Exactly. And um, ultimately we have to have a really good theme, which is you learn boundaries, respect other people. What do you learn about yourself when you're going through this? Mm -hmm. But it should be fun while you're doing it. And the great part about this one that I'm very excited about is that our uh, set designer and prop designer, who's Michael Moon, is building a die for us. And we're going to toss this big die to the audience and have the children choose what happens next. Oh! So we're going to have to rehearse several different things in the middle and to several different endings because we're going to have them decide what happens at each turn. So every everywhere that we go, it, it'll be a little bit different. Well, what does the die have? Numbers or? Numbers. So we'll say, you know, I'm not sure because we have to create sure. it. But we might say, is it number one, number two, number three? Got it. Or we might say, um, does she fall on a banana peel? Does she fall on a Hershey bar? Does Cute. She... So I think that'll be That'll really be a fun. part of it. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And then the kids will learn how improv really works. Exactly. You know, they'll, they'll realize how spontaneous this is. That, that's, that's really funny. cute. And I'm really excited about it. So you direct college theater as well. As You're well. the professor of college theater. What other shows are you directing this year? So we're doing, uh, I'm directing Christmas Carol. Uh -huh. And we'll go into auditions in August. Okay. And then that plays over Thanksgiving weekend. And then we'll have separate auditions for children because we cast uh, community children in alongside the college students. And can anybody audition for this? Anybody can audition for it. And once you're cast, you become a student because you, oh, nice. you, you take the show as your class. Okay. And is it during the day, the rehearsals? The rehearsals are usually at night. Okay. They're generally 7 to 10, 7 to 10.30. Oh, fun. So people in the community could audition, see if they get in. And Absolutely. if they get in, they take the class. And, and it's a great experience That's not so only nice. for our students, but for community people to realize uh, all the commitment that goes into a rehearsal, mm -hmm. all the bonding that goes into a rehearsal. Uh, and we perform it in the Belushi mm -hmm. for, I don't know, is it between five and 800 people every time? Every time, 800 and at least. At yeah. least. And people love it. They come back year yeah. after year. We were teasing about it when we were talking about doing Christmas Carol this year, that we should have a reunion of all of the tiny tens uh -huh. that have played it in the past. 
<clears throat> because that would be it. fun. It would be fun. So, Amelia, um, for Christmas Carol, I know you like to twist things up. Are you going to twist it up? No, not this one. Not this one. This one. This is the regular this is Christmas the regular Carol. Christmas okay. Carol. <laughs> are you going to do it with like ghosts or something? Like <laughs> there everybody's are ghosts. a ghost. Oh, that would be funny. <laughs> it was like, and then I woke up from my dream, and uh -huh. here I was. Now this is the the script, classic, classic, and it's um uh, adapted by Bill Morris Norris uh -huh. for us, and uh, he's he's done it for many many years for us. He always changes it slightly though every year for us. And it's it's ninety minutes, which I love for it's families. Right. It's not like you have to have your kids sit there for three hours. Exactly. It's short and it's well done, and the set's beautiful, gorgeous, and, and it's huge. Mm -hmm. And you know, it takes up the whole Belushi space. I love it. And yeah. it, it, you know, they do two shows on Saturdays and two shows on Sundays, and um, a show on Friday night. And we fly things in, and you have uh, smoke, and we have ghosts, mm -hmm. and it's just it's a ball. People love it. Well, that will be exciting. And then what's your other show you're directing? I'm directing 1984 in the spring. Yikes. So, uh, that's you know, a big project. It is a huge project. But I think it's actually, with all of the stuff that's going on in television right now, uh -huh. it's this dystopian universe, I think it's going to be a, a, a real crowd pleaser, actually. I think so, and real timely. and Very timely. And I think a lot of the high schools and maybe grammar schools are study 1984. So really? It'll be a good thing to write a study guide for and to have post-show discussions for. It'll be um, a good engagement tool for the community. For everybody. It sounds like you have an exciting year planned. It'll be fun. It will be fun. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks. Goldie's next big adventure will be at the Lakeside Pavilion on Saturday, July 14th and Sunday, July 15th at 5 p.m. This show is free and interactive, so bring a blanket and your imagination for an hour of family fun. Be sure to visit the Cleve Carney Art Gallery between June 1st and July 28th for one. This second annual Emerging Artist Exhibit features the work of regional early career artists who are making their mark in the contemporary art world. For more information, visit clevecarneygallery.org.